Welcome to episode number 17 of this Bobby Crosby Jr. Road of the Show series. Crosby Jr. is starting on the mound in this game. He's 8-1 and one in his first nine starts. He's just missed a few no-hitters. And uh, we're really looking for that no-hitter today and hitting a home run. That's the goal. Pitch a no-hitter or a perfect game. You know, that would be even better. Look at his stats there. And hit a home run or two or three. You know, uh, in his last two games as a hitter, he had three home runs in each game. 81 strikeouts, one walk. It's a decent ratio. 81 to 1. Not bad for a rookie. Um, this is just the minor leagues. It's uh, early July. I think it's July 1st right now. That was a 91 mile an hour sinker. Now we're going with the fork ball, low and inside. Uh, swing and a miss. 88 mile an hour fork ball. Now the sweeping curve. Let's show you all the pitches. And strikeout. No, 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 no. Never hit the ball off me again. Please, never. Never do it. Never do it. I keep giving up hits to the first darn batter um, and then throwing like a one-hit shutout. Uh, last game, I actually threw a three-hit shutout. And, um, man, I hate it when the drama goes away immediately on the perfect game or the no-hitter with a little seeing-eye single up the middle. High sinker strikeout. Yeah, that's how it works. 91-mile-an-hour cheese up there. I throw the ice sinkers because they work really well in Diamond Dynasty against poor hitters. And um, also these hitters here, the CPU hitters, are pretty poor too. Works well against them. So watch. We'll try it right here, the high sinker. And that's a little pop-up. But now we're going to go with the low sinker because we really want the double play ball to get us out of the inning. So how about that one right there? Almost. We're going to try it again on the inside low corner now. For the little ground ball double play. Oh, a lot of pinball action between the legs of the catcher. That's been happening a lot. Going with another sinker up here this time. There's the strikeout. All right. We're going to get a one pitch out right now on a fork ball right there. Foul. Thank you. How about a two pitch at bat? Curveball. Ground ball to first. All right. Might as well strike him out on the high sinker. Strike out the side on three high and tight sinkers. All right. We're going to try that again, though. We're going to go right there. Swing and miss. Yes. Beautiful. See, the high singers can work. They can work pretty well. And um, we didn't bat bottom one, but we scored three runs. We're up 3 nothing. That's foul. No worries. Now we're going to go with a little fork ball inside. A little ground ball is third. All right. How about we just strike out 20 this game? High sinker. And pop up. He's got that. I'm running out to help, though, just in case. He needs some help. You never know. I chose not to run at the batter runner here and tell him to never hit the ball off me again. Sinker down here. Ground ball to second. All right. Not swinging. Not hacking. Crosby now with what? Three strikeouts in this game. Is that 84 strikeouts to one walk? That's pretty good. We're going with the high sinker again. Worked last time. And didn't work this time. Now here comes all the comments. Bobby, stop throwing high sinkers. They don't work. I know in real life, low sinkers are good. In the video game, high sinkers work incredibly well against crappy Diamond Dynasty opponents and usually against the CPU here. Um, let's go with the sweeping curve right now. Get the little ground ball to third. Turn two. All right. All right. Fork ball right there. And yes, four strikeouts through the first five outs. And fork ball right there. Beautiful. Now we're going to go curb ball right down there. Lays off. I don't like that. Curb ball again. And there we go. He's just staring. Sinker up there for the strikeout. Yes. Beautiful. Five strikeouts through uh, two innings. Crosby's up now. Nobody on. Two outs. How about a homer? That's foul. Don't kill a dinosaur. Thank you. We never want to kill dinosaurs with foul balls, only with home runs. Because then, you know, at least their life was worth, uh, their death was meaningful. It's a home run instead of a foul ball. Crosby didn't do very well there. Uh, bad at bad. He's focusing on the pitching, you know. So it makes sense. High and tight sinker. There we go. Way out in front of that. Sweeping curve. And beautiful. Sweeping curve again. High. Now, this is weird. I don't normally do this. 
Well, he almost homered, but can he get there? Maybe. I think he can. He's fast. He's speedy. And Crosby diving. Just in case. Sometimes Crosby can just dive 100 feet in one leap. Uh, that was beautiful, but I don't want to throw that pitch again. High sinker. Beautiful. Now we're going to go with the low and inside fork ball. We're going for two consecutive shutouts, by the way. Last game, we threw a three-hit shutout. High sinker. Yep. Wonderful. Wonderfully beautiful Binghamton. They're the Rumble Ponies, right? That's a cool name. There's a lot of really weird minor league names, like, for example, uh, the Richmond Flying Squirrels. All right. Three shutout innings. We're up 3 nothing. High sinker. Might take it for a ball. Nope. Took it for a strike. Fork ball. Little ground ball to second. Oh, that was ripped. That was like a perfect hit. Uh, never, ever do that again. Never. Never. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'll bump into you. You don't bump into me. All right, hot shot. All right, low sinker. There we go. Fork ball. Double play ball. There we go. Curve ball. Sweeping. Yes. A lot of strikeouts. A lot of beautiful strikeouts for the beautiful baby boy. Crosby Jr. He's uh, somewhere between 9 and 16 years old, born on a boat in a forgotten sea to a 7-foot-9 mother who met his father, Bobby Crosby Sr., when he was on a sightseeing mission to Norway and happened to run into her in the brothel she was working at. Um, pretty amazing story uh, when you really stop to think about it. Fork ball, double play ball. All right, another strikeout. Getting a lot of strikeouts. I'd like to get 20. That's 8. And we're not even through the end of the fourth inning yet. If we can get nine strikeouts through four, that would be beautiful. High sinker. Beautiful. And we're going with the curveball right there for the ninth strikeout through four innings. All right, but I can't throw too many pitches or they'll take me out. Curveball. No, fine. All right, all right. That's uh, four shutout innings. Crosby coming up to bat now with two men on. We're up 5 nothing. See, in the series, he's gone three for six with three home runs and six RBIs. Um, come on. Let's get three more RBIs right now on this pitch. Didn't mean to check it. I was right on it. I would have hit it foul anyway, though. All right, come on. Sometimes the button doesn't get pushed all the way. Get out. Get out. Oh, gone. Hit a dinosaur on the foot. 329. 329? How about 329 feet? Are we going to see? How about 329? All right, we'll probably see uh, when they do the whole showtime thing. 329? 332, three feet off. I knew it was close. Oh, man. And let's just see if it got a dinosaur on the toe and which toe it was. Uh, that dinosaur right there, by the way, is named uh, Donald. And, oh, shin shot. Ow. Ow, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Donald. Man, almost got him in the head, though. That would have killed him for sure. And then Crosby would have to drink all of his blood because that's what he does. That's actually the only drink Crosby drinks. No water ever. Only um, the blood of the dinosaurs he kills and the blood of his enemies sometimes uh, who are humans. All right. Fork ball right there. Ground ball to second. All right. Let's get some more strikeouts. We've got eight through four innings. There's a curve. Yeah. Yeah. Nine strikeouts. Good job. Good job. I don't think we're getting 20 in this game. They won't let me throw that many pitches, I'm sure. 54th pitch right there. Even if I struck everybody out on three pitches, I don't think they'd let me stay in long enough. And I'm being a little too cute to do that anyway. I sink. Let's just get a pop-up. All right. Now we're going for the strikeout. Curveball right there. Swing and miss. All right. Gets a piece of it. Gets a piece of it. Going with the high and tight sinker now. Right up there for the swing and miss. Yeah. Ten strikeouts through four and two-thirds. That's beautiful. This guy's short. Man, Crosby could drink all of his blood in about two seconds. All right, sinker. Yeah, beautiful. Fork ball over here on the outside corner. I rarely do it, but, you know, you got to mix it up sometimes. Oh, yeah. You know, let's do that again, actually. And how about the swing and miss? Yes! All right, struck out the side there. That's 11 Ks through five innings. Man, I mean, 20 strikeouts is possible, but they'd take me out. Sinker. Uh, that's a nice start. Sinker. Foul ball. 
No? Okay, okay. I'm just going to tell him not to ever hit the ball off me again. Never do it. Never do it. Um, yeah, we're not going to strike out 20 in this one, but that's okay. Sinker. And now the fork ball over in the low outside corner. There we go. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there if need be. Okay, okay. Never hit the ball off me again. I mumble under my breath to that batter. He hears something. He just hears a low rumble. By the way, Crosby Jr.'s voice, it sounds like this, by the way. Never hit the ball off me again. That's what it sounds like, just to let you know. We're going with the sinker up here now for the strikeout. You, sir, are done. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. 12 strikeouts through six, I believe. Crosby up. We're up 8 nothing. Nobody on base. He's leading off bottom six with what? With what? Oh, I meant to hit the ball there, by the way. I meant to hit it. My phone is muted. I thought I heard something, but I did not. Okay, come on, Crosby Jr. Let's do this. Gone. Last episode, I had a 500-foot home run, right? That's 471. 471? 471. We'll see it. Um, we'll see it. 471. How about it? We're going to see the distance in about two seconds. Three seconds. 471? 463. Eight feet off. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Junior, 70th pitch right there. Taken for a ball. We've got 12 strikeouts through six innings. Hee haw. Did you hear the umpire there? He said hee haw to call that strike. Fork ball. I was going to say ground ball to third. I should have said it. Should have said it. Um, yeah, Crosby Jr. Tell me in the comments things for him to say when he goes over and talks to a guy who hit a, hit a ball off him. You know, the batter runner there. Tell me things for him to say, and I'll say them. In future episodes, just say, have Junior say this. You know, like, have him say, um, I hate you with a passion. And he'd say it like this. I hate you with a passion. That's what he'd say. And then number 86 would just, you know, crap his pants. He'd, he'd have to. Uh, last time I crapped my pants, by the way, was like 1988. It's been a long time. I tried really hard not to do that. Perfect pitch there. Now the fork ball for the swing and miss. Okay, ground ball to third. Foul. You know what? We're going to go with the backdoor fork ball. Right in the corner. Yes! Beautiful. I think that's just 13 strikeouts through seven. Letting him start the eighth. How about two straight shutouts? Then how would they not call me up? Like, seriously. Come on. 4,219 are here to see a dinosaur-filled stadium? I don't think so. That's me. Here we go. Crosby hasn't caught one in a while. Beautifully done. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, throw it around a little bit. Throw it around. Why not? Let's throw it around. Yeah. All right. Uh, 13 strikeouts. Looking for 14. Most I've had, by the way, is 15. I did have a 15 strikeout game. Curveball. That was only in eight innings, as I recall. Nice. Maybe I'll get back-to-back -back shutouts. We need quick outs to do that. Uh, yeah, let's just throw them down the middle then. Let's get some quick outs. They'll get themselves out. Or not. Man, you don't dive for that shortstop? I'm never learning your name. Man, oh man. No, we don't need to see a replay of that nonsense. Fork ball down there. What? In order to actually pitch the ninth, I need one pitch at bats here. Come on, hee haw. I like that. Umpire, he says hee haw. Uh, ground ball to third. No, not good. Well, I don't think we're starting the ninth inning on the mound. Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Just give it to me. Just hand, hand me the ball. All right, I'm scared. I mean, we're going to get the win, but I don't want to hurt my ERA here. Come on. What pitch is that? It's 80. Here comes the 88th pitch. Foul. But he ripped that. Don't worry. No more high sinkers uh, unless they're really high. Curveball. Is it out of energy? No. It's off the wall. No. It's a three-run home or 340 feet. No. Yeah, 320. I knew it was shorter. Man, I shouldn't have made these walls that short. Uh, they're going to take me out now, and that's fine. Man, three earned runs there hurts, though. Um, man, if you like this episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about these videos. You know what? I'm going to see you in episode number 18.